So, just arrived um, at the water <laughs> and first time in the water. So, I have the batteries here, Put a large carryall from uh, Sula Tackle, and then I have the batteries here. And in the side pocket somewhere, I also have the remote. So let me just quickly turn on that. It's gonna complain a little until I get the batteries into the boat. So I need a couple of packs. this and like this and yeah let's turn it on the remote stopped to complain And let's take it for a ride and see if it works like it should. So I will also put on the antenna, really important. And let's just go for a ride. It drives fast enough, at least. So... Let's kick it into manual mode. So I've got the joystick set right. I prefer to have the tablet in In the same height as my hip, a little above, so I can do the joystick with the thumb. Let's put out a couple of points here and see if we can ah. I'm going to do a mission, so I need to upload it to the boat. Upload mission. And then let's just kick it in and see what happens. Oh, it goes far too fast. Oh, whoa, whoa. Let me see. Boat control, speed. VP speed 2, that's a little high. I'm gonna do 1. I'm gonna set that to 1 as well. Oops. And radius, I'm gonna do as 1 meter. Parameters uploaded. All right, now. Oh, that's far better. Oh, it's running really nice. A little hard on the turns. It's slightly overturning in the turns. It, I think it's it looked good, looked much worse in the app. It's doing a pivot turn. So it goes like 30 degrees too much in the turn, in the pivot turn, and then gets the correct direction instantly. This is really good actually. 
I can bring it back to home which I now set on the shore that's not a bad idea let's put home in the water and this is not bad at all and then I just drive it into the shore Well, uh, right now I have uh, prepared uh, the rods and everything. Uh, I'm going to put out some baits and then I can look more into the boat uh, afterwards. Just have a look here at my, at my setup. So based on the depth map, I have chosen a couple of uh, spots. Uh, this text-based uh, way of marking spot is coming in the upcoming uh, version of the app. And obviously the bait boat is ready. Hatch is open. Four nice rods here already. And then I am going to test with some boilies, some paste and some pellets. Yeah. So, and optimist. Weighing station is then made ready. All right. The weather is quite chilly, uh, so I'm uh, going very light on, on, on the baiting. There's also been a lot of uh, anglers here in this water. I talked to some other guys in the nearby water, and I assume a lot of he a lot of bait has been put in. So. Uh, Let's go easy on baiting and see how it goes. And guys, in just one hour, uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Wee! All those hours spent building that boat, ah, uh, it's just worth it. Fantastic, what a start. We're gonna have a look at how we set up the Carp Pilot Pro. As you see here, we currently not, don't have any servos. We need to fix that. And also we are not connected. So I have prepared Bluetooth. But I also put in a UDP adapter from Aliexpress. So I connected to the uh, Raymarine Wi-Fi. And let's just try to connect it. I, I could tag here, uh, but I can also connect here. And with the UDP adapter, it should connect effortlessly. But I think I have disconnected. Yeah. So now we're connected and connected, armed, mode manual, 100% battery left, vehicle home updated. That's fine. Then let me disconnect. And set up Bluetooth. As you saw in a previous video, I typically mark my remote with uh, uh, additional info on which switches and so on that I use for different purposes. And I also added the Raymarine Wi-Fi uh, SSID and also the Bluetooth name. Uh, the Bluetooth name I think I can remember quite. And that's the one I al already connected to it. So I've paired with Bluetooth then I should be able to connect to Bluetooth as well. If you have never connected before, you will get a dialogue. 
Ah, I see. I am using the wrong device. So let's just go into the settings for connection. Bluetooth. This is uh, another device I have. I'm going to forget that. Then I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to connect again. And it is the... Why have I some... There it is. This one. So I'm going to select that. Connected. Armed. Mode manual. Vehicle home updated. So as you see, I have two options to connect. Uh, in order to set up servos, I can either go into the settings and start it from servo or I can long press and get in there. So what I am needing is a uh, my mine opens on the right side a battery a bait thrower and some lights. Now um, let me just move this further up. So light and I'm gonna have them in that uh, order. And now I need to look at my documentation, obviously. So the lights are on number five. So I'll start with that. This is in RC5. And I'm going to use it as it is. Good. The uh, bay tray is on number four. I'm going to use it and I'm also going to use it here in Go to Plus. Uh, mm -hmm. Battery, I think I need to open it properly. I'm going to change that to max. Okay. And um, yeah, this is fine. Then we have the bait thrower is supposed to be on channel number six. Also going to use that in Go to Plus. Um, yeah, I tested the boat um, um, because I wanted to drive out the baits uh, as soon as possible. And then I noticed that my my uh, brushless motor it uh, consumes so much energy that the uh, pixhawk rebooted so this i am going to lower significantly i think i'm going to try like yeah 1600 done okay done and that's it now i have them actually um Come to think of it, I should. Uh, I don't want this to be running permanently. I want it to be momentary, the thrower. So I'm going to change that also now. So to make it momentary, we click on the pencil again. And we scroll a little down. It's currently latching. So I'm going to make it momentary and I'll let it run for a second. So, okay. And now we can do some testing. And let's do some testing. I'm going to use the remote first for the lights. It's turned on and it's light and very good. Then I can open the bay tray. This is a momentary switch, but I use the stick, so I'm going to pull it to the right, and it works. And let me just try that thrower. It's amazing. One second. I think that's enough. Oh 
Oh my god. Well, good. Ready for fishing.